So instead of the usual fanfare of my dad just reacting to old music references found in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I made it into a game show. This is the intro video of Name That JoJo Reference! We're breaking this down into parts, including the manga. So, uh, spoilers for everything. <laughs> Rules of the game are simple. My dad has three guesses before I reveal a hint. He has to lock in his final answer after the hint is revealed. If he answers correctly, he gets a point. There will also be bonus points when they appear. There are also three challenge stages throughout the game in total. Each part will be graded individually, but just like the anime, parts one and two will be graded together since mm, both are pretty short. Know the rules? Okay, so let's dive right into... Name that JoJo reference! Hey there, viewer. Before we even begin the actual first episode of the series, I want to give you a little bit of a challenge. See if you can try to figure out what characters me and my dad are cosplaying as. Your answers will be at the very end of this video. I wish you good luck, viewer! Okay, so say hi first. Hi first. Oh my god! <laughs> We're off to a great start! Absolutely. All right, so here we go. Starting with part one. So part one is takes place in Victorian England and it has vampires. This is the first JoJo, Jonathan Joestar, and your first character. So this guy turns into a vampire. Okay. He's Jonathan's adopted brother. He's evil, and he also appears in parts three, five, and six. I think I'm gonna need a hint right away. Oh, oh, are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Your hint. This is a person who replaced Ozzy Osbourne in a famous band, and their name means God. Dio. Wow, you, you got it! <laughs> in reference to Ronnie James Dio. Yes! So, this guy, his first name is William, middle name Antonio, but his last name is a corruption of this band. Um, he is from Italy, and he's a master of Hamon, which is like a karate fighting style, and knows a technique known as the Ripple, and he's also Jonathan's mentor. When you said Hamon, I thought you meant like ham or <laughs> pork product. Um... A pork product! <clears throat> yes, he's the master of ham! <laughs> the ham and pork products, okay. okay. Um... I'm going to need a hint. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I think it's more fun with hints. I don't uh, know. Okay. All right. Fine. Here's your hint. This band has a famous song about going up to a holy place. Led Zeppelin? Wow. Holy <laughs> Sweet. His, name, his last name is a reference to Led Zeppelin, which is a corruption of the word Zeppelin. His full name is William Antonio Zeppelli. Got it. Oh, this is fun. I think it is more fun with the hints, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's name is Robert. He becomes friends with Jonathan in order to defeat Dio, and he also appears in part two. Yes, I need a hint. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Uh... Oh my... Here's a hint, then. I'm oh. going this also is the name of an old type of truck. His initials spell out part of the band's name. His initials? His initials. This one might be a tough one. Ario Speedwagon. NANI?! What the- <laughs> Need I say more?! His full name is Robert E.O. Speedwagon. Uh... Uh, all right, this is this is cool. All right, all right. You you went through all of part part one with ease. There's only three questions for part one. Oh, okay. Cool. So, so here we go. Part two, battle tendency. This takes place in World War II. I still don't know why it's called battle tendency. So there's that. Um, this boy is Joseph Joestar, Jonathan's grandson. 
Jonathan's grandson. Yeah. He's got some nice boots. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I thought you said he has nice boots. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> oh he, he, he does have that sexy pose there. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So this woman, she was a baby. Oh, the wait, wait. Um, I didn't get. I didn't get it. What? I, I needed a hint for that one. I, I didn't even... Wait, what? No, there was no hint. Oh, oh. This is just introducing the Joe <laughs> stars. Excuse me. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so anyways, back to this one. You're going to turn me into a dad meme or something, aren't you? I know it. I know it. <laughs> Dad meme. I know. No, the internet's gonna do that for me. Oh, okay. I'm just here, you know. All right. Anyway, so this woman, she was a baby in part one, um, but she's an adult now in part two. She's the mother of Joseph Joe Star, and she trains him in the art of Hamon using the ripple. <laughs> she, throw, still... she throws ripple-shaped uh, <laughs> spiral hams. That's Woo! it. <laughs> Oh no! Ha! Oh no! Here comes the spiral hands. Oh, okay, wow. Um, that's gonna be. I think I need. I, I think oh. I need a hint. Okay, fine. Here's your hint. Okay. Her name is so nice you can say it twice. This singer has been active since 1984. She even did a song featuring Pitbull in 2004 called "Can't Wait." Um. Gaga. No. no. Two two names. Two names. Singer since '84. You have two guesses left. Oh darn! How does "Can't Wait" go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I'm trying to think. You know, for hey. for Pitbull, I, all I can think of is <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Twit. No. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, I think I might be failing on this one. Oh. Uh, Think of that song. If, uh, if I could remember remember that song, I think I could figure it out. But if you look up the song, you'll be able to look up the artist. But that's cheating. I know, no, no. I mean, if I just heard the song, uh, her name is so nice you can't say it twice. Jojo. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, and it wasn't Gaga. You have one guess left. Oh shoot. <laughs> Um, I already got my hint. I phoned a friend. 50 <laughs> 50. <-50. laughs> no, no. What letter does this, this name start with? I... You can't tell me? No. Oh, uh, no. Sorry, Dad. Fail. <laughs> Fail. Okay, go ahead. All right, you give up. Yeah. Her name is Lisa Lisa. Oh, <laughs> Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. Yeah, best known. Oh, I didn't know that she did a uh, collab with. Pitbull? Yeah, I looked that up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you didn't get that one, but that's She's okay. She's from back in the day. But yeah, real back in the day. Um, so this guy, he is Joseph's best friend and training partner. He makes bubbles, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only putting him here because he's important for a later parts reference, but he is also um, related to another Hamon master. Where, where do the bubbles come from? <laughs> Do they create an odor? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, oh my well, a ham, well, a ham master, so it could be <laughs> spiral ham bubbles. Spiral ham bubbles! Oh my god! Uh, so, <laughs> hint, I need hint. Alright. You already know this dude's middle and last name, but his first name is after a Roman emperor. You already know this guy. Um, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> you have two guesses left. Oh, shoot. Um... <laughs> because Billy was not a Roman emperor. emperor I mean. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna choke. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> let's see. But he's named after a Roman emperor. Is the first name part of the Roman emperor's name? Yes. Little Caesar Pizza. <laughs> oh! 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 oh, oh. Wow. What? <laughs> wow! Uh, uh, you have one more guess! Then you. Oh my god! It was so close! <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Oh um, my god! 
I know his middle and last name. You know his middle well, and last I, name? Obviously, I know his first name now, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. really? Wow. Um, <laughs> middle, what is middle and last name? Jeez. You, do you remember uh, part one? <laughs> that was so long ago. <laughs> that was literally like five seconds oh, ago. Gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the bubbles. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna I, die. Oh my god. I, I, gosh. Um, I know his middle and last name. Do you know his middle and last name? Where do I know his middle and last name from? Think about it for a minute. <laughs> uh, um, Lisa, Lisa, and Caesar. <laughs> I guess that's my third. <laughs> all right, all right. Your answer was Caesar Antonio Zapelli. Of course. Please remember him. He's important. Oh, okay. All right. I will remember. <laughs> this is Lisa Lisa's assistant. She later marries Joseph and also appears in part three and is mentioned in part four. Yeah, I need a hint. All right. Here's your hint. Okay. This singer was well known for hits such as Devil Date Drive in 1974 and has a reoccurring role on the Happy Days show as Leather Tuscadero. Oh. She's also the name of a snack cake. Oh, shoot. I can see her face, too. I, also, I, I, I was going to say Leather Tuscadero because that was her character. Oh. I even gave you, it's also the name of a snack cake. <laughs> Little Debbie's? Uh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Joseph Su and Debbie. Oh. Yeah. Susie Q? Yes! Oh, oh my sweet. god, you did yes. it! Yes, Susie Q. Yes, More Susie attuned Quattro. to the reference for Susie Quattro. Yes. But she's also just as sweet as the snack. Oh. You, oh my god, you <laughs> that's your first point for part two! Woohoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is gonna, this is where it gets bizarre. Hence, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> So that picture kind of reminds me of uh, what some people look like when they've uh, gone through the day and they're like, am I still fresh? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. So this is one of the pillar men, Aztec warrior gods, who are the CEO of vampires. This person possessed Suzy Q at one point. He can extend his blood vessels and make them into ropes and it's nasty. Yeah, it seems nasty. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hint. All right, here we go. Here's your hint. This band is known for an explosive hit song from 1975, and bikers sing another one of their songs while on the road. Steppenwolf. <sighs> you have two left. Darn. Well, I was thinking Born to be Wild, that's why I thought Steppenwolf. Mm -hmm. But it's another biker song? It, yeah, think about it for a minute. What <clears> other <throat> songs do motorcyclists sing? <laughs> on the road again? <laughs> no! no! <clears throat> yeah, um, we're not counting that as a guess. Uh, we're not counting that. Thank you. White Snake? <laughs> Ooh, no. That one guess left. Oh, darn. Oh, my God. I was thinking of that one commercial, that's why. Okay, so let me look at it. So, mm -hmm. it has something to do with his character, right? And... <laughs> Not exactly. His nasty blood vessels. <laughs> um, and the explosive hit song. Oh, I'm going to hate myself for not knowing this because I, I know I probably know this. Yeah, you probably know this. I don't know. I'm just going to say kiss. <laughs> Ooh, no. ACDC! The name of the band is I The Corruption of ACDC. You threw me off with. with the highway song because I was thinking more highway traditional. To yeah. Oh, okay. I, I did the Google search and everything for this. Oh, thank you, Google. <laughs> All right, this is another pillar man. He is a master of fighting strategy. The headdress he wears is anti Hammond gear. He has windy powers, so he does the windy thing. <laughs> he breaks wind to get rid of the ham. <laughs> anti ham. Anti ham. By breaking wind. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be an image. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> I can imagine you making a meme of it right oh, now and no. adding it. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, okay, what's his... 
What's his hint? Here's his hint. This band was known for a very catchy song that started with the word jitterbug. <laughs> it's the name of the band? It's the name of the band. Wham. Well, in the Japanese, they call him Womu. <laughs> Womu. 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 Uh, once again, corruption of the names, but yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Careless whispers. Real? Womu. Womu. This is the final boss of Pillar Man, the last character for part two. He's the leader of the bunch. He's the oldest at like a hundred, two thousand, but doesn't look a day over ten thousand. Uh, he gets yeeted into space in the end, never to be seen again. And he's got a smiley belt buckle. <laughs> That's not a smiley face belt buckle! Oh, if, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> is that his belly button? No. No, no, no it's just, it's <clears throat> just a belt. Okay, I'm... No, what the heck was you thinking? I don't know, it was a oh, smiley belt buckle. Oh, it's just yellow! Oh, okay. I like his hair. Is that all his hair? Or is that just smoke? I can't. No, no, that's his hair. Boy's got hair for days. Uh, multicolored? Yeah, or... uh, no, no, it's that's just the background. He's oh, got okay. big purple hair. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> his hint. This band was named after a mode of transportation. Um, well, I'm gonna think 80s. Mm-hmm. Starship? That's two. What do you mean, two? No, no. <laughs> you have two guesses left. That was incorrect. Oh. <laughs> that is one word. It oh, is no. one word. Oh, it's not airplane. No. <laughs> and it was the name of a band. It's the name of a band. I'm sure I know it. You probably know it. It's from the 80s. I'm going to just throw it out there then. Train. No. <laughs> oh, that's more thou 2000s. Yeah, anyway. that's more 2000s. You still have one guess left. No, I, I blew it. You, are you uh, sure? Yeah, because it hit Starship. Are we... in... All right, fine. Yeah, All right, I'll, fine. I'll be honest. Okay, here we go. Cars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so simple. That was more eighties. You're right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the part's name is Stardust Crusaders. It's the most iconic part. It takes place in the eighties. And this is where Stan comes from. I like his jacket. So this dude's Jotaro Kujo, Joseph's grandson. So this dude, his first name is Muhammad, but his last name is a very obscure reference. Um, well, I don't know how obscure it is. His stand's called Magician's Red. He and Joseph become friends prior to the beginning of part three. <clears throat> Here's your hint. This is the only one where the singer's gender and the character do not match. This singer was a judge on American Idol. Were, were they a regular judge or just the judge for one season? No, they were a regular judge. Simon Cowell. No! <laughs> it's not Simon Cowell, so you have two guesses left. Lady Antebellum. <laughs> no! Uh, uh oh. Randy Jackson. Okay, you okay. give up? Yeah. Alright. His name is Avdol. It's a corruption of Paula Abdul's last name. Oh. The singer's gender doesn't match nice. the character. Nice. Oh, I was thinking the other way around. Oh my god! I was thinking backwards. You were thinking backwards. He's yeah. not, he, that's not a woman! <laughs> Alright, next. So this dude, I had to add him on the list because he's the best boy and his last name is the reference. He is French, and his first name is Jean-Pierre. His stand is called Silver Chariot, and he also appears in part five. Love the hair. <laughs> I used to know people in high school that hair oh! similar. Oh! Oh, I'm dating myself. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I need, a, I need a hint. Oh my god. Here's your hint. You may not know this one. He is a famous singer from France and had a song in 1975 called Jesus for Tonight. Jerry Lewis. <laughs> no. No. Um, Jesus. <laughs> what? It's so funny. Don't Jesus laugh at Jesus. Don't laugh at Jesus. Don't laugh at Jesus. <laughs> Like Jesus. <laughs> no, no, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> Officially, yes, my answer is Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know. 
um, what, they, what are they called? Jesus in, in France? Lay Jesus? I don't... <laughs> oh my god, stop! Okay, stop. Uh, yeah, I think that's my three, is it? His name is Polnareff. His oh. last name comes from the reference of Michael Polnareff. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that one. Yeah, okay. He's but... got nice hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, in those pants. <laughs> yes, a <I> do... <laughs> This is a dog! A stand user can be a dog, too. Uh, it's called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for a reason. His stand is called The Fool, and it's basically a robot dog. He's my spirit animal. <laughs> this character is your spirit animal? I think so. Oh my god! <sighs> but he's got that, he's that, that weird haunting, like, stare. It's like, you like walk, okay. walk anywhere around the room and he's still staring at you. Know? That's <laughs> let, me freaky. let me tell you something. Okay. They actually changed his design. Be you know, before he looked like a normal bull terrier, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> now he's like a Now he's like this! <laughs> he's like, I see you. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe he's not my spirit animal. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> freak the more I look at him, he's freaking me out. Right? Yeah. He's so freaky! But anyway, you need any- <laughs> so how you do it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you need a hint? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, here's your hint. He's named after the former frontman of the Stooges. Oh, Ziggy. Iggy. Yes! You did it! Oh my god, Iggy Pop! Yes. His stand could also be a nod to Iggy Pop's 1977 solo album, The Idiot. The Fool, The Idiot. Got it. So this dude, his stand is Ebony Devil. The stand's personality is that of Chucky from Child's Play. In order for his stand to work, he must be injured first. It's like, come at me, bro. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a hint. Alright, here we go. Here's your hint. He's named after an 80s band that wore strange but iconic hats. Devo? Yes! <laughs> Why is he named Devo? I have no idea! Here's a bonus point! Okay. What is his localized name? It was named after a 1969 Santana song. It was... Black Magic? That, that would have been really good, but no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Alright, uh, His American localized name, by request of the author Hirohiko Araki, was changed to Soul Sacrifice as a nod to the Santana song. Uh. Alright. <laughs> Whoa! Creepy grandma! <laughs> creepy grandma! <laughs> You're getting creepy now. I mean, it's bizarre, oh, right? Oh, oh, of course. Got it? Duh. Oh my god. So this is one of Dio's servants. Her stand is called Justice, and it creates a fog. She bought one of the most powerful items in universe from a mafia boss. It's a bound stand known as bow and arrows. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I need a hint. All right, here's a hint. The name of the singer also produced a meme song that plays when life gets too rough sometimes. Mom likes this singer. Miku. NANI?! What?! <laughs> no, mom, mom doesn't like Miku? No. What? Yeah, oh my god! Oh my god! That's a meme already! You did it! You played! It's not broken. Oh gosh, you know... You, it's like you know this! Think about it for a minute. I... <laughs> I was thinking sort of like the, the windows, like when you turn on the windows, but nobody made that song. Oh. Um, I'm thinking four non-blondes. Mm -hmm. No. I don't know, creepy grandma. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Your, your mind is going to get blown. I am, I know. Enya. Her name is uh, Enya the Hag. <laughs> Quite fitting. <laughs> you know, who can yeah. say the road goes? I was thinking that or uh, Sarah McLaughlin. You know? No. No. Sad, do sad dogs being eaten by cre creepy grandma. Oh, no! no. I mean, okay. like, okay, every dog dies in JoJo, so uh, I mean, you know. Oh, okay. It could happen. These are brothers with stands. 
Their names were changed due to copyright. They even got their own ending theme song. The older bro has a stand called um, Kurumu, and the younger one has a stand called Toth. Here's a hint. Danny Elfman used to be part of this band with his brother. You don't know? No. Oh boy. Here we go. It's gonna kill me. Anyway. It's gonna kill you, alright? Oingo and Boingo! <laughs> Now, if you gave me a song reference, I would have. Yeah, but you would have. Okay. But yeah, I would have guessed it right away with the song reference. Mm -hmm. um, bonus point. What were their English uh, localized names be? They can't use Oingo and Boingo, so they had to change their names to someone else. Uh, There's a hint. There's always hints for bonus points. Okay, I'll take a hint from All right. this one. It's an album by the band The Police. Synchronicity? Because they're two separate characters, remember that. They are brothers. Synchronicity 1 and 2. No, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Alright. I can't think. Their names are Zenyatta and Mandata. Oh. I'm surprised. So so that, was the, that wasn't that was stricken for copyright, but Oingo Boingo was. Yes. Wow. That's pretty sad. I know, right? They, but they keep their names for the ending theme song because it's sung in Japanese. I see. So this lady, she has a romantic interest in Dio and works under him. Her stand is called Bastet and it can turn anything into a magnet. Like her hood. No idea. Go ahead. Hint. Alright, here's your hint. She's named after a famous singer who has a very famous Christmas song. Mariah? Yeah! Oh my god, you got it! <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I know. It's surprising. <clears throat> Alright. This one, this is a two for one as well. So this is both stand and user have two names for different reasons, but like... So this dude is a vampire and he works under Dio. He's like his right hand man or something. And this is his stand and it has the ability to create a void that disintegrates everything. Dude's been doing the squats, man. <laughs> he got a couple of hands! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Your hint. Their names go together very well, but the stand's user, the vampire, is based off of a rapper from 1985 with the signature phrase, blank blank baby. The stand's name is based off of the band that had a song such as Sweet Wind and Hall of Fame. I know that's a lot. That is a lot. So, okay, so the phrase is blank blank baby, but is that part of the name? Mm-hmm. Oh, ice? Oh. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. Vanilla? Yeah! So the stand's user's name. Is vanilla ice? Yeah. And that's not copywritten? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Then what's the stand's name? Vanilla ice cream? <laughs> Seriously? Vanilla Ice and Cream! Oh. Vanilla wow. Ice's localized name is Cool Ice, which isn't as funny. Yeah, no. Yeah, but you got it! Oh you got gosh. it! Diamond is Unbreakable. It takes place in the 90s. It's a murder mystery. This is the author's favorite part. And it has more stand references. This is the JoJo. She has hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, this no. This is Josuke Higashikata. He's Joseph's son. Whoops. Oops. She has hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I will tell you this. This isn't part of the quiz, but um, his design was actually based off of Prince. I can see that. All right. Oh yeah, and Jodoro is here too. <laughs> So this is Josuke's stand. It can punch things, and then when it punches things, it can heal. Okay. So like, if it's a broken plate, punch, and it's fixed. All right, hint. <laughs> <clears throat> this stand is named after a Pink Floyd song from 1975. Uh, another brick in the wall? No. Nope. Comfortably numb? No. Nope. Dark side of the moon? All right, and the answer is Crazy Diamond. Here's a bonus point. What would the English localization be? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> All right. 
it it's in the same vein as the song. So the song's name is called Shine On You Crazy Diamond. No. The name would be Shining Diamond. Oh. There you go. Okay. This is the stand of Okuyasu, so that's Okuyasu down there. Okay. It has the ability to erase space by punching it. Kint? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the name of this group rhymes with its name. It was formed in 1968, and it has such hits such as King Harvest from 1969 and Night, The Night They Drove Down to Old Dixie. Oh. Yeah. Oh, group. Hmm. This one's kind of confusing. The name of the stand rhymes with the name of whatever it is. Of the group. Uh-huh. It's, like, so easy. <laughs> Mm, but those song references aren't. Yeah. No, no clue. So... <laughs> the band. The band rhymes with the hand! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a stretch. Yeah, I, I couldn't say... Bam, 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 I, bam, bam, I couldn't say the band. Bam, 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 bam. Because that's the name of the group! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, this one's gonna get confusing. Like, think about Pokemon Evolution. Okay. That's this. So this is Koichi Hirose. This stand evolves from an egg, and it goes all the way to Act Three, which hence why it has Act Three on his pants. I see. Uh, its powers include making sound. <laughs> Maybe he made a number three. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Oh, Koichi stands are gonna go at you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, its powers include making sound effects visible, freezing things, which lessen the impact of an attack, and the stand is fully sentient and can talk. Needs a hint. This stand is also based off of a Pink Floyd song from 1971. I was never a big Pink Floyd fan of the 70s, so... Money? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Unless you can give me an extra hint. I don't I'm... Know. No, no, okay. I have no idea. Echoes. Their English localized name is Reverb. So this is Rohan. And he is a rat. <laughs> He's a mangaka. Uh, so this is Rohan's stand. It has the ability to turn anyone's face into a book. Rohan can also write in this book and make the person do or say anything he wants. Interesting. So think about it. He'll turn your face into a book. Open up the book, write something down, close it, and you'll do whatever he wanted you to do. Okay. Hint. This song was sung by Bob Dylan in 1973. Um, gosh. I wish you could give me like a little more hint. This is Cause... the best I can do. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Heaven's Door. Oh. The author said that... You could have given me a little hint. <laughs> Araki said... Opposite if... of hell. I, I, you know, I, I wanted to make... Knock, knock. <laughs> 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 Who's there? Bob Dylan. Oh, my God. <laughs> Araki oh. said that if he were to ever have a stand, it would be Heaven's Door. Well, you know, if you, if you use... The Guns N' Roses version, I would have. Oh, I didn't know Bowen. they did a cover. Yeah, they did. Okay, this is another bound stand, so the stand is her hair. This Her is... hair has an eye? No. That's her eye behind the hair? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Yukako. The stand is the hair itself, and she can use her hair as tendrils to grab things. Here's your hint. <laughs> This stand was based off of an album by the Smooth band. Operator. 1992 oh. by the band Sade. Sade? Sade? No. Sade? No, Sade. Sade? Sade. How, is that how it's pronounced? Yes, Sade. Oh. Well, thank well, God the you're only, here. The only song I know is Smooth Operator. Yeah, but this is the name of the album. Oh. Is it, is it some sort of a stone? Yeah, no. Ooh, a, a gonna have a word with you. Love Deluxe. The localized name is Love Extra. So this is the stand of Akira Otoshi. It, its powers mainly use electricity, absorption, and transfer. 
To me, it looks like the Nissan Spicy Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> For like those chicken ramen commercials? Have you ever seen that? So I'm, I'm looking at his guitar and I'm like, he's holding it like a bass, but I see the whammy bar, so that's a guitar. I'm sorry, I'm sitting far away, so I can't see how many oh, no. pegs he's got. Oh. <laughs> sorry. My dad's a guitar buff. <laughs> Alright, so, yes, hint please. This one's probably gonna be the one you get. This band formed in 1983 and had such hits such as- Red Hot Chili Peppers! Oh my god, you got it! <laughs> it's localized name is Chili Pepper. But you got it! Now these were good hints for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this guy. Th this is Miki Taka, and um, he doesn't have like a physical stand, but it'd be like that. Okay. Miki Taka might be an alien, hence the ears. So he doesn't know how to transform into into a lot of complex objects, but his stand allows him to transform into simple objects like a dice. Just from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's holding an ice cream cone. Oh no, that's just a button on his shirt. It does look like an ice cream cone. Okay. I never noticed that before. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sitting a little further back from the screen. But like, yeah. Okay. Here is your hint. Do you remember? <laughs> 21st night of September. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is... This looks like a cucumber and a tomato. Oh my god, here we go. This stand is multiple, so all those little vegetable things, that's his stand. Okay. Um, this is Tonio Trustardi, and his localized name is Tonio Trendy. He can make food for people, and it heals them. I don't think I would be healed after eating something like that. <laughs> you won't be able to see it. Non-stand users don't see the oh, stands. Okay. yeah, but, yeah, okay. Hint, please. The name of this band was formed in the 90s, and it was known for such hits as Give and Supply and Jeremy. Um, and the singer had uh, performed a song, especially for the Chicago Cubs, because he's a big Chicago Cubs fan. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, huge. I think he was originally from Chicago, and then he moved out to uh, Seattle to form the band. Mm. And I'm just stalling because it's not a, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like an easy band! I know! I um golly. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't believe I oh my gosh. <laughs> it's I'm, I know this band. You know I this totally band. I totally know this you band. You know this band! It's you can like, do it! You have you have three guesses, remember that! Okay, I'm just gonna throw some bands out there. That are in the same genre, but I know uh -huh. it's not. Okay. But uh, Soundgarden, which I know it's not. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, why? I'm having such a brain fart right now. <laughs> I know this band. You know this one. It's not Soundgarden. Do, do you know the songs? I, I know the band. I can see the band. You can see And the I'm band. just having such a brain fart right now. <laughs> um, it's not Collective Soul. Uh uh. You still have one more guess. Oh. It's gonna oh, kill me! It's going to kill you! You're I gonna know be so it. bad! With I this see thing. it! I just, I don't know, I'm just having such a hard time putting brain to tongue here. <laughs> you need Tonio to like make you a food? Yes, I think I need a food. <laughs> um, golly, give me a little hint. I know this, I know this. Oh my god! <sighs> oh my, you're gonna be so bad with this! Yes, you. yes, okay. you know. Oh man, I'm... Come on, <laughs> give me just a eensy weensy eensy weensy, because I know this, I know this, I know this one. Okay, okay, tiny, tiny, this is your, this is the, this tiny. is the only time I'm doing this okay. for you, the Thank only you. time. Okay. Oyster. Pearl Jam. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> it, oh it, the, man. The localized name is Pole Jam. Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. That was... Oh my gosh. I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> it's time for the first challenge. This is the 4-in-1 reference challenge. Yoshikage Kira changes his identity frequently throughout the story. There are four references that he embodies. If my dad gets 100% of this right, 
it's worth four points. If he gets at least one of these references wrong, he only earns a point. And if he gets all of them wrong, no point. All right, here we go. So this is Yoshikage Kira. His appearance is based off of a famous musician. His stand's ability to create bombs and anything it touches explodes. It can make remote bombs as well. Its ultimate move is that when it explodes, it's a time loop. All of the abilities come from Queen's songs, and his user's inspiration recently passed, and the stand is also named after a Queen song. I literally just gave it away. I just realized this. <laughs> <laughs> went right over my head. Fat Bottom Girls. Whoa, no! <laughs> Whoa! No! <laughs> Whoa! Tie your mother down. <laughs> no! <laughs> this one I'll give you multiple tries because there's multiple. Uh, we are the champions. Another one bites the dust. Yes! That's one! Oh, it's- oh, God. Now you only have two left. Let's see. And these are for the stand and its abilities. Can't stop me now. No. Uh, I'm just gonna say Bohemian Rhapsody. NANI?! That's a completely different stand from a completely different part. Oh, I have to remember that. <laughs> well, it's not, uh, it's not in the quiz. Because oh. I knew you would say something like that. Uh, now you have to think, what's a stand user? Crazy. Yeah, I mean... called love? <laughs> well, his, his stand user's inspiration recently passed away. In 2016. The references are... Killer Queen, Bites the Dust, Sheer Heart Attack, and David Bowie. Uh, David Bowie died? David Bowie died! You didn't know this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so Queen's localized name is Deadly Queen. Sheer Heart Attack's localized name is Heart Attack, and that's it. We're in it for the long haul. This one's gonna be the long one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because it's part five! <laughs> part five, Golden Wind, is my favorite part. It's got Italian gangsters, takes place in Italy, and the entirety of the story takes place in only one week in 2001. Crazy. I know. And this guy, this is Giorno Giovanna. He is Dio's son, and he also has Joe Star's blood, which, um, I can't tell you how he has that for spoiler reasons, okay. in case, you know. So. Nice shoes. He does have nice shoes. <laughs> I just realized he has nice <laughs> shoes. He has ladybugs on his shoes. Ah. He's very passionate. Ah! So this is Giorno's stand. It has the ability to create life from inanimate objects and organs. It's gonna hurt without anesthetics if you want to heal a broken bone. Okay. Hint. A Prince album from 1995. 1999? <laughs> Let's get crazy. Purple Rain? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's later. No, it was before. Oh, these are killers. These are good. These are really good because it's like, it's right there. Mm-hmm. This is like the easiest one! Why is it? I, oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's gonna kill me. I, I don't know. Golden Experience. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> the localized name is Golden Wind. The oh. name of the part! Okay. Apparently don't know that album. Yeah, it's okay. So okay. this is Bruno Bucciarat. He can create zippers? He can create zipper portals <laughs> into a pocket dimension. Alright. Based off of an album from the Rolling Stones from 1971. <sighs> All these early ones. Um... Aragi was born in, like, 1960, so of course he would choose this. I know songs, but not albums so well. Um, can't always get what you want. Um, yeah, you really can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, Tattoo You, but that was like, uh -oh. Satisfaction. Nope. The answer is... Sticky Fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, wait, here's another thing. Before I even get to the bonus point... Yeah. The album has zippers on it! Of course. So, and course. bonus point. What would be the localized stand name? Want a hint? Dungarees. 
<laughs> yes, Bruno Bucciarati coming out. Dunkery! <laughs> no, okay, so here's the hint. What is this stand known for? Jeans. <laughs> I don't know. Zippers. No, no. Oh, portals. Oh, 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 oh. You no, 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 no. Go back a little bit. You were... Zipper portals. I'll give it to you. I'll give you the bonus point. Okay. Zipper man! Uh, Zipper man! Yes, it's really silly. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> really silly. <laughs> um, it has no nose. What's up with that nose? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, has that's, no nose. He has a nose! Where? Like, okay, do you see? Like, that's the shading. Oh, okay. Oh my oh, god. I see it's stylized. I, I see. This thing doesn't have a nose! Definitely not. Okay. Alright, so this, this is Leone Abacchio. He can replay any moment in time and can fast forward and pause like a videotape. It can also reenact people and sounds as well as impossible feats of motion. Here's your hint. It's a British rock band formed in 1964 with such hits as Nights in White Satin. Moody Blues. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Guido Mistis stand all of these little dudes okay it, they are numbered one through seven skipping the number four as mista believes four is unlucky number okay each one of them has a different personality they need to eat so that's like the only other stand that that canonically can eat okay and <clears throat> he he never needs to reload as these little dudes do it for him hint hint of course this is a punk rock band that formed in 1971. I mean, his stand is a gun. Sex Pistols. Yes! Now we're talking. <laughs> Sex Pistols. The localized name is Six Bullet. Makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. This is Narancia Girga. I had a so hard time trying to pronounce his name, I had to look it up before it. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at it and think Girdelli. I never... What? The G... This stand has a carbon dioxide radar. There's even a little pilot in there, and it's um, it's just airplane. Here's your hint. Okay. You probably know this one, but I thought you would guess it at this point. But if you haven't, okay, here's the real hand. The band that created the song Dream oh, On. Of course, Aerosmith. Yes! The localized name is Little Bomber. But can you guess the pilot's name? It's Italian. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Has something to do with Aerosmith? Stephen Perry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's. Here's the hint. It's a simple name. Look at the stand. Arrow? Smith. <laughs> well, just... Aerosmith. Mm-mm. Arrows. Mm -mm. Bone arrows. Okay. You are so close. It is, like, right there in front of you. Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the pilot's name is Arrow. Uh, oh, my God. Little bomber airplane. Little oh. aero bomber. Oh my god! Uh, little bomber smith. <laughs> oh, 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 you were close. You were so close. Bomber smith? Aero, aero smith bomber. Uh, uh, aero, uh, yeah. aero bomber smith. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You, you won. Yeah. Alright, so no bonus point, no but bonus. Mr. Smith! Oh, gee. <laughs> it's so easy! Uh. Oh my god. So this dude. He's very dangerous. He can create a flesh-eating virus. No one can escape its wrath, not even its user, Fugo. And only Giorno has the cure. Does he have a rising crust? What? DiGiorno? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Welcome to the JoJo community! <laughs> Here's your badge and hat! Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to thank my daughter and the Academy. <laughs> The Academy of Jojo. <laughs> okay. Right. Of course I hint, please. This is a Jimi Hendrix song from 1967. Purple Haze? Yes! Uh, yes! You got it! You got it! That one actually makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. What? His localized English name? It's Purple Smoke. This is the stand of Trish Una. 
this is a two-in-one reference as the attack both has the name of the band and its song. This stand can make any hard material into something soft. Here is your hint. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Spice Girls? Yes, and? Wannabe? In the English localized version, it is known as Spicy Lady. This one. <laughs> oh god. This is the stand of Polpo. Okay. I put this one on the list because you can appreciate this reference. Okay. This stand has the ability to hide within the shadows and drag out people's souls. Alright. Here is your hint. Remember Dio's fact? Probably not. Ozzy Osbourne was the singer of this band before getting replaced by Ronnie James Dio. Black Sabbath. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna see a stand user? Of course I do. <laughs> oh my. He's a rotund man. It's Jabba the Popo. <laughs> You're very valid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, okay, think about it. This man is in a jail cell and he's oh. huge. Job of the Popo. Job of the Popo. Fat Popo. <laughs> okay, this one's a double time. Okay. The shark's stand user is named Squalo, and it's the dude with the red hair. Wait, I have to ask you a question. Is he a baby shark? Shark. <laughs> uh, get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. Anyways, so Squallow is his Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> Squidward and Baby Shark. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Stop. Okay. Sorry. The strange fetus-looking thing on the other side. <laughs> it looks like a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to seen like the storyboard there. Okay, I've got this little red fetus thing and a baby shark. <laughs> Great idea! Let's put him in the show! Okay. Oh. <laughs> so the strange fetus looking thing is Tiziano's stand, okay. which, yes, that's a man, by the way. Alright. Uh, the shark has the ability to grow, shrink, and swim in any type of liquid, even soup! Okay. And the fetus looking thing can attach to the inside of your mouth and make you say the opposite of what you want to say. So, Squidward is very <laughs> cute. <laughs> Wait a minute! So it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you need a hint. <laughs> yes, of course I need a hint. For the shark, this is um, a famous British punk band from 1976, famous for Should I Stay or Should I Go? The Clash. Okay, and then for the fetus thing, songs from this band include Psycho Killer from 1977 and Once in a Lifetime from 1980. Oh, Judas Priest? <laughs> it's a band. That's a band. That's a band? <laughs> yes. I thought that was a person! Oh gosh, I have not done my job as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Psycho Killer, would that be? Why is that? Think about what. Think about what. It's like I can. can do it. I can see it on like uh, a label. It's not Queen. Mm -mm. Is it a rock band? Um, believe so. Gosh, it's like I can see it. Well, well what does this stand do? What does it make you do? Well. He makes me want to sing Baby Shark. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. not him. No, the, oh, the, the fetus, okay. the fetus looking thing. <laughs> I just realized you... Oh no, I put lounge instead of tongue. Yes. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by Oh me. my gosh. I'm in the lounge of love. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I don't know. Well, I'll give you the one for the shark, okay. because you were right. Clash and Talking Heads. Oh. You got one right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Their localized yes. names are Crush and Talking Mouth. I see. Yeah. This is another double time. Times two. So this gross looking stand in the middle here is Chocolata's. 
<laughs> bootleg Joker looking. I, you know, I used to like chocolate, but not <laughs> Can you imagine going to Starbucks? I would like a chocolata. Ba -bow! <laughs> Have one of those things. Well, he's a he's a psycho bootleg doctor thing. Oh, okay. All right, and um, the dude here, Seco, what he's wearing is the stand. So Chocolata's stand can create mold, but he can also stitch himself together using that mold, and it's gross. And Seco, Seco can use his stand to make the ground into mud, and he eat dirt. Okay. I mean, in canon, he eats sugar cubes, but it. This man eat dirt. <laughs> Yum. All right. <laughs> Hint, please. Chocolata Stand is the name of a band that includes such hits as American Idiot and 21 Guns. Green Day. And Seco. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Oasis. Yes. Not one of my favorite bands. Bonus point. <clears throat> Green Day's name is in the English dub was changed to green tea. But what was Oasis changed to? Where is your hint? Mud. <laughs> oh. Dirt. Don't look at the answer, but like... So, 1978, Jay Giles Band album name. Jay Giles Band. No. No? I saw it already. So yeah, 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 no. We'll, we'll not give it to you. Okay. Because the answer is Sanctuary. I'd, it must have been a glitch. <laughs> Oh boy, so remember I told you about Enya and how she bought the arrows from a mafia boss? This is said mafia boss. I see. Now that is a cool outfit. Which one? The one with the stripes. The crisscrosses. Oh, that's the stand. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, you cosplaying this character. <laughs> oof. Big oof. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's his name? So, the Mafia boss is named Diavolo. He's evil and wants to kill his daughter. Okay. His stand can erase time and can talk. The dude with the ice cream up to his head is Vinegar Doppio. And he's 33 years old and he'd be looking like this. Okay. Um, his stand is the small little thing on the stand's forehead and it can predict the future. Here's your hint. Both stands go hand in hand. One is the song, one is the band. This British progressive rock band was formed in 1968, and the song from 1969 from the band's album. Bad Company. Nani? That's a completely different stand from part four! Oh! Part you four! <laughs> <laughs> What's after part three and is kind of athletic? Part four! Oh my! Joke for the uh, day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's going to be like your little intro to part four. <laughs> um, so I like how it rhymes. Yeah, I accidentally made it rhyme. No, you did it. No, I'm serious. You just think that way. <laughs> it was an accident. Okay. Um, British progressive rock band, Pink Floyd. <laughs> Genesis. Nope. King oh. Crimson and Epitaph. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're I know local the band. But, yeah, uh... the localized names are Emperor Crimson and Eulogy. It's time for challenge number two! This is what I like to call the La Squadra Lightning Round. There are seven members of La Squadra, minus Sorbet and Gelato. Each one of the members has a stand. Like the previous challenge, if my dad gets 100% of this correct, it's worth seven points. If he gets at least one wrong, it's only worth two. And once again, if he gets all of them wrong, no point. Here we go. So here are all the members of La Squadra. Okay. 
Assassino. Going from left to right. Iluso, fromaggio, melone, risotto nero, prosciutto, pesci, and ghiaccio. I got you. <laughs> oh. see, see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh More dad jokes. Yes. <clears throat> this is Iluso stand. He can walk through mirrors. This dude is from Asia's stand. He can shrink. Okay. Maloney's stand acts as a computer that can make homunculus babies. As seen with the robotic looking stand here. <laughs> That's gonna be the next name of a band or something. I, I swear it's gonna be <laughs> homunculus babies. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Malone <laughs> is like the lead singer of that. I can imagine. You asked for it. You got it. The hottest band in the world. Homunculus Babies. <laughs> <laughs> With our lead singer. <laughs> uh, Jabba the Pulp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't think they would ever work together again, but that's funny. Oh, my God. These little beans. This is Risotto Sand. He can create iron from objects with blood or any form of iron within objects, so like in sand or whatever. Okay. It, this is Prosciutto Sand, and it can make you turn into an old person. Okay, this, <laughs> that's just a straight up fishing pole. I was gonna say, that looks just like a fishing pole. It is. It's, <laughs> Pesci's is just a fishing it pole. It makes sense. It makes sense, okay. And this is Ghiaccio Sand, that's a bodysuit, so he wears that. Uh, Gyaccio's suit can create ice crystals using the atmosphere. He can also skate on the ice, as seen with these little ice skates. Has anyone ever cosplay in Gyaccio's suit? I think so! I, I, although I've seen people cosplay as Sekko with his suit. So I, I, I would totally want to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Just That'd be really colorful. cool. It's ice cool. <laughs> so there, those are all the stands. Okay. Here are your hints. Or Iluso Stand, based off of Michael Jackson's song. Fromaggio Stand is based off of a band that formed in 1969 and has such hits such as One Clear Moment from 1988 and Let It Roll, also from 1988. Milone Stand is based off of a singer who produced such hits as Tender Lover from 1989 and What If from 2001. Risotto's it's a metal band, obvious. Prosciutto's band is based off of a rock band that produced such songs as Eyes of the World and Hell in a Bucket. <laughs> Hell in a Bucket, that's a funny name for a song. Pesci's, uh, it has two, alright? The Japanese one has a band that's saying Surf and Safari from 1962 and the localized version, it's a song from 1980 by the band Primus. Finally, Giaccio's is based off of a Beatles album, oh Untitled. So I'm supposed to guess all of these at the same time. Well, kind of. It's a lightning round. <clears throat> okay. Um, Man in the Mirror. Fromaggio's. Um, I can't think of that one right now. We can always come back to it. Okay. Uh, let's do Malone's then. Um, can't think of that one. Uh, Risotto. Metallica. Prosciutto. I have to come back to that one. Pesci has two of them. Uh, Beach Boys. Mm -hmm. And finally, Ghiaccio. It's based off of an untitled Beatles album. The White Album. <laughs> no idea. Alright. <laughs> so, for all of them, you got Man in the Mirror, Little Feet, Babyface, Metallica, The Grateful Dead. Um... The Japanese had Beach Boy, but the English one had Fisherman. And White Album. Got it. The localized names are Mirror Man, Tiny Feet, Baby Head, Metallic, The Thankful Dead, and White Ice. Uh, we're at part six. <laughs> what? Redacted yeah. title. Uh -oh. As of right now, there is no anime for this part yet, and it takes place in 2011, Florida. Uh, no pictures for the name of the part because it's the English localization, or JoJo because they are the music reference. Sorry, here are some memes. No spoilers. <laughs>
Part one and two are the worst. But they don't have stands. Part one and two are the best because they have use him on. Part one and two are the best because they feature speed wagon. The, the anime manga, the Netflix adaptation. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beautiful duo. <laughs> and my personal favorite, this one, this one you can you could probably relate to. My mom, who ate all the cookies? Me, dot dot dot, sister. <laughs> <laughs> you. I have to agree that, uh, let's see, part uh, one and part two are the best. <laughs> So this is Jotaro's daughter. Okay. She was wrongly convicted of drunk driving, and her story is breaking out of prison. She looks like she has post-it notes on her legs. <laughs> she kind of does. I never noticed that. Anyways, her dad, like her dad's stand, she uses her stand to punch a lot. So okay. that's the stand right there. It's got cool sunglasses. I see. And uh, she can use, she can create strings a la Spider-Man. All right. Here is your hint. So each protagonist, if you haven't noticed, has Joe in the beginning of their name. Her name is also the name of a song that also starts with Joe. Hey, Joe. Her, <laughs> her stand, on the other hand, another Jimi Hendrix song from 1969. What did I get it? Hey Joe? Uh -uh. All along the watchtower? No. Purple haze? You already did purple haze! That was the last Foxy part! Foxy lady? Uh, remember, you only have three guesses. Oh, you... <laughs> I'm in that drought. You had, you had like one million. Um... <laughs> so we're just gonna count the one the <laughs> Hey Joe. So you only have two guesses left on her name. Oh, 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 oh. I can hear the song. Mm-hmm. Oh, darn. <laughs> you know, it's like, it sucks getting old. <laughs> uh, I'm going through, I'm singing this song in my head. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to kill me. <laughs> well, let, let's, oh, well, you, right. you sit on that for a minute. Okay. The name of the stand is a Jimi Hendrix song. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Okay, then go back to, to the Joe. <laughs> I'm, I'm bobbing my head. And, yeah, you know, just like yeah. there's, there's nothing but silence <laughs> except for the music. That's it's my brain, right <laughs> brain <now>. music. <laughs> oh, if they only had headphone oh, jacks for your brain. <laughs> Shoot. That's that's what you're thinking of. Yeah, and I can even play it on my guitar too, and I can't think of it right oh now. My oh my god, I'm old. I'm really old. Okay, okay. Yeah, but like go let's let's go back to the protagonist. What do you think her name is? Joe Toro's daughter. Well I mean yes, but she Joe is daughter? <laughs> Joe Daughter. Joe Joe Daughter. No. What's her name? Joe Daughter. <laughs> I, I I bet and I came from Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I bet you a billion dollars that's what Jotaro did. Like, uh, uh this is my Joe daughter. <laughs> the Joe daughter, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. You don't know no. either of those? Yeah, my mind escapes me. Well, for Jotaro's daughter, her name is Jolene. What does that have to do with Jimi Hendrix? <laughs> No, no, the name of her stand is Stone Free. Oh. And uh, the localization of it is Stone Ocean. Oh. The name of the part. That's why I didn't give you the part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next one, this is Hermes. And this is her stand. As you can see, it has like stickers all over its arms and stuff. Mm -hmm. If she puts a sticker on anything, it can duplicate it. So like... Put it on your arm, another arm pops out. Hmm. But if the stickers are destroyed, they forcibly cause the thing you just doubled to like 
go back together. So here's your hint. This is a hard rock band, no for songs such as I Was Made For Loving You and Rock and Roll All Night. Kiss. Yes, this is the Kiss one. <laughs> Cause you guessed it! I was like, oh, you, wow, you know, you're, you're thinking in the future, you have epitaph <laughs> on your forehead or something. Here's a bonus point, what would the English localization for this band be? Uh, smooch. <laughs> Another word for kiss, but it's not what you expect. Not smooch? It's not smooch. That's so. This is a linguistics PSA from Ghiaccio. The word for kiss in Italian is bacio or baciarsi. Beso is Spanish. They are similar sounding as they both derive from the Romance language Emily. More specifically the Italo-Western portion and are then split into Italo Dalmatian and Gallo Iberian. This has been a linguistics PSA by Ghiaccio. Wrong genre. I mean, no, no. I just love how you're like, we're in Florida now. Like, <laughs> we're speaking Italian. <laughs> we're in Florida now. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Another word for kiss. But it's not a word that you expect. Suck face. No. No idea. Smack. Oh. Okay. It should have been smooch. It like, should have been. Yeah. yeah, but like, no, they're like, oh, smack. <laughs> Sticker smack. Okay. <laughs> dumb. For Beso, actually, I think Beso is Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to look it up. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not doing that. Okay. This dude. His name and the stand are one in the same. He's got a special attack that corresponds with the band's album. He got amnesia. He is able to control the forces of nature. He can also make frogs rain from the sky and turn people into snails. So here is your hint. Named after a jazz fusion band from the 1970s and their hit album from 1977, songs of this album include Birdland and Teen Town. Funkadelic. Uh -uh. <laughs> Chic. Um... I'm gonna name my band after uh, making frogs rain from the sky. <laughs> I know. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are to the perform their wonderful hit. Frogs rain from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that po po band? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Job of the po po. <laughs> Wind and fire? Oh, we did that yeah, one. Yeah, we already did that one. Uh, no idea. Okay. Their name is Weather Report, and the album is Heavy Weather. Bonus point, what's the English localization? Uh-huh. Here's a hint. Oh, it's no... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's on the nose. It literally is. It is my nostril. Is... <laughs> oh my god. Um, my forecast? Nani? Oh! Oh, you did it! You did, did it! You oh! actually got the bonus Whoa. point! Weather forecast. Ah, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Oh my god, you did it. That is a shock. <laughs> that was a big... <laughs> Big shock. His name is Sports Max. This stand doesn't have a physical appearance, but Max can control the dead. <laughs> kind of looks like the Riddler there. With, with that suit. With yeah. all the commas. I thought those were tadpoles. <laughs> I don't know. They do look like commas. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Riddler's cousin, Sports Max, comma man. He pauses. <laughs> he pauses. Pause man. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, yes. here's your hint. Please. This is a rap rock band, New Metal, that was formed in 1994 and had hits such as Breaking Stuff and My Way. Limp Biscuit. You are correct! <laughs> it's all about the nookie! All about the nookie! <laughs> Bonus point, this stand's got a very funny localized name. Take a guess. Here's your hint. Try to replace the words limp and biscuit. Bimp, lisket. No. 
Um, soggy muffin. No. <laughs> um, mushy bread. Uh oh. <laughs> you have one guess left. Oh no, I have no idea. Get ready, get, get ready for this one. Okay. The answer is a flaccid pancake I used was for on, the. I was <laughs> on the right. You were on the right track. Oh. Used for the Eyes of Heaven fighting game. Oh uh, okay. But you got Limp Biscuit. Yes. <laughs> she is both a stand, a person, and a colony of plankton. As a colony, the plankton can use their stand to invade other people's bodies and take them over. So a la invader of the body snatchers. Hmm. She can also manipulate water and always is hydrated. Sounds like algae to me, or seaweed. Well, I mean, they are plankton. They're a colony of plankton. Here is your hint. They are named after a punk band that formed in 1994 with songs such as Everlong and The Pretender. Oh, oh, uh, not Everclear. Um, shoot, I know this. You do know this. I do know this. Mm -hmm. It's not Alice in Chains. Uh-uh. Of so course, I know I can see the lead singer. He was also in another band with Slash. He was? So, it's not so mm -mm. <clears throat> You have one guess left. I can see them. I can see them. You know the songs? No, go ahead. Alright. You're gonna be mad at yourself I'm for this be, one. I'm gonna be very mad. Foo Fighters! Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking a different band. So yeah, he was not with. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what that band is later. Yeah, no. Hello, what Siri? <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> But, like, their nickname is FF, yeah. which also is kind of like, um, because some of the names are based off of, for part six in particular, they're fa based off of famous fashion designers. FF is like, um, I think Fendi. Not sure. So here, I, I wanted to find a picture with his pink hair, but, oh well, you're dealing with the green one. Okay. So his name is Narciso Enesui. And the localization gave him Narc Anastasia. And I'm just still baffled why they gave him that name. Anyways, his stand can phase through solids and then freely change the insides of things. <laughs> Sounds like a good bean burrito to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? Phase through some solids. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> really change their insides. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a bean burrito. <laughs> Hint. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't what this, what this game is all about? Okay. Oh my God. Right. Fifth studio album from 1982 by heavy metal band Van Halen. Let's see. There was Van Halen. Mm-hmm. Children, Diver Down. Oh, 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 oh. Diver Down? Diver Down, you died! Oh. <laughs> Their localized name is Diver Dive. Okay. I mean, you look, like, go back a little bit. Look, you got like the DD right there. Oh, of course. It makes like, sense. Wow, I was surprised you got that on like the third guess. Oh. Okay. I have to expand my musical tastes, I suppose. I know. This is going to help me. Yeah, this is, this is gonna help you. I'm gonna go look for funk bands that play jazz. I and <laughs> some of those other ones. Okay, All so right. here we go. The both of these stands they belong to Father Pucci, who is the main villain for Part Six, Evil Priest. Stand A, the man, has two abilities. It can create illusions with a stomach acid. What is with all of this? stomach issue. It's a horror manga! I guess so, but I'm thinking the writer might have had some issues. <laughs> Maybe that was what was coming out. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, oh! But it can also take people's memories away and store them into discs, as you can see here. I'm sorry, I'm stuck on stomach acid. <laughs> stomach acid. Oh! Okay. Um, and stand B, the horse, can accelerate time and create new universes. Okay. So here are your hints. For stand A, this is based off of an American rock band from 1978 that had such songs as Here I Go Again and Is This Love. Actually, it was kind of an international rock band. It 
is. Yes, so the lead singer is British. Uh -huh. um, one of the guitarists is, I think, Irish. Another one is from Netherlands, maybe? Hmm. Drummer is American. Mm -hmm. And the bass player was, I think he was either German? No, Italian. Oh. I think. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Uh, White Snake. Mm. And Stand B. It's a Freddie Mercury song from 1985. Fat Bottom Girls. Why you can't be afraid of <laughs> Fat Bottom Girls? I don't know. Tie your mother down. <laughs> what? No! Uh, One more guess. <laughs> Um, <laughs> accelerate time. It can accelerate time and create new universes. Can't stop me now. White Snake and Made in Heaven. Oh. Bonus point. White Snake's localized name is Pale Snake, but Made in Heaven has a very interesting localized name. Here is a hint. Pretty similar sounding to its original name. Made in heaven. You're you're like right on the money here. Uh, Jade in paradise. Okay, no. <laughs> it sounds very similar to its original name. So made in heaven. Oh. You think think about it for a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> made in heaven. Oh my God! You keep saying it. You keep saying it, but you don't know. Do you do you realize? Yeah, I don't know. That's okay, what I realized. Uh, all right. Wait, one more try. Okay. All right, one more try. One more try. I won't say it again. So. Oh my god. No. Okay. <laughs> you were you were right on the money. It's just that you were never realizing that you were saying it. Uh, Made in heaven. Oh. Fun gosh. fact: There's a tribute album to Iron Maiden called Made in Heaven, featuring Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, and several other bands. Cool. This is their album cover. Very cool. Now in part seven, how did we get back to the 1800s? Spoilers, the world may never know. Um, it's an alternate universe. Also, this is a American cross-country horse race. Why is it called a steel ball run then? If it's a cross-country horse race, that's yeah. the name of the race. But what do steel balls have to do with <laughs> horses? <laughs> Understand in a bit. Okay. Anyways, this is Johnny Joestar. Yes, same as part one, except this is a cowboy that can't walk. He's from Nashville. Okay, so he needs to ride a horse. Nani? Yes, he does need to ride a horse. <laughs> you, see. you, I can't believe you thought you went ahead. <laughs> you, you just kind of like, oh, I know this already. Do you? No, just kidding. This is Johnny Joestar's stand. All of these stands are different acts, so this is act one, two, three, and four. Since Johnny- He's got a nice skirt, number four. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, you and know- and, and the way he's bent over, it looks like he's looking at his skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting there saying, I got a nice skirt. <laughs> I'm gonna go ride a horse now. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Since Johnny can use this version of Haman, known as the spin, the stand can help spin his fingernails. Spiral ham. <laughs> yeah, you were already on the spiral ham bit, yeah. so we're back to <clears throat> using like a version of Haman. Eventually, by Act Four, this stand can help Johnny use a, a technique known as the infinite rotation. Got it. Here's your hint. The name of this song, and it's also an album, is by Fleetwood Mac from 1979. Rumors? Mm-mm. Does it have something to do with spin? Mm -mm. It's gonna kill me. Sarah! <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> I gotta get back on my horse! <laughs> oh, shoot. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead. Alright. 
Tusk. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of the song that was in my head. It's a cool song. Mm. I don't know if you know the song. Hey Siri. Stop <laughs> with the Hey Siri. You keep doing this like every other part now. Okay, sorry. Oh my gosh. Even horses got musical references. And this is Johnny's horse. Because Johnny can't walk, he rides the horse in order to get around. He, he actually used to be able to walk before until a horse accident. Here is your hint. This is based off of a Boz Scott Skaggs song, an okay. album from 1974. I don't know Boz Skaggs very well. Mm. <clears throat> no. Uh, slow Dancer. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> is that Gyro or Gyro? Or it, it's, Gyro? It's Gyro because <laughs> spin. spin. Oh, okay. He's a spin. Oh, of course. He's a spin I was man. thinking, you know, the wonderful sandwich. But... <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, you know, and those spin too. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Well, the meat spins. You're okay. right. Okay. Anyway. So he could be Yiro. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Okay. Anyway, his stand is a visual representation of his spin. Here is a hint ACDC song and album from 1995. Whole lot of Rosie. Spin. This is going to. Kill you. I know I, it. It might be an old. Is it an older song that was just remade in '95? Mm -mm, this was a '95. <laughs> this will give you the explanation you need. For what? It's, like I'm go it's going <laughs> yeah, through my brain. I'm it's singing going the songs. Through, you're think. You're, you're going through the songs, songs yeah. in your in your mind. I know. No. All right. Get ready for this one. Ball breaker. What does that have to do with spin? Steel ball run. Oh the reason why he's able to use the spin technique is because of the steel balls. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a bonus point. I've never mentioned Gyro's full name. If Johnny Joestar is the equivalent of Jonathan Joestar, then who would Gyro's counterpart be? Here's a hint. Think back to the other Hamon users. Spyro Gyro. <laughs> Good work. I mean, think back to the other Hamon users. Do you not remember? I have a good memory, but it's really short. <laughs> I told you way back. They all start with Joe. Joe no, Gyro? No, 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 no. You're thinking of the protagonist. These are the Hamon masters. Um, oh my god. I told you to remember this one! <laughs> this is the one you had to remember! Um, so this guy, I'm only putting him here because he's important for a later parts reference. Please remember him, he's important! I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> well, get ready for this, you're gonna be a little bit mad. Okay. He's a Zeppelin- Oh, uh, yes I am mad. <laughs> he's a Zeppelli! Born Julius Caesar Zeppelli! Of course. <laughs> I told you to remember, remember Caesar. Caesar! Symbol. <laughs> remember. <laughs> you see, like... I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> the, spoiler alert, this is a woman. Their stand is really weird, too. Their, their name and the stand are co two completely different things. But the stand itself is a flesh spray <laughs> as you can see from this panel and she could spray flesh onto people turn them blind is the spray called axe <laughs> <laughs> well i mean wow no. here's your hint okay the girl is named after a 1971 james brown song her stand is loosely underlined that Based off of a 1996 song by Prodigy. I feel good. Yeah, that's the only one I can think of. All right, all right. Let's go to her stand. It's loosely based off of uh, this Prodigy I, song. I don't know Prodigy. So these are hot pants and cream starter. <laughs> cream starter. It's loosely based off of the title Fire Starter. According to the author, he was inspired by shaving cream for the stand. Oh. But you were right, like, when you said, like, axe 
yeah. shaving cream. <laughs> I was like, oh, so you maybe know. No, nope, yeah. apparently not. This is Hot Pants' horse. They share a reference with its rider. Here's your hint. Another James Brown song, 1970. Oh. No my. clue? No clue. Okay. <laughs> Gets up. In reference oh. to the song, Get Up, I Feel Like a Sex Machine. <laughs> No oh, point there. Oh my gosh. I think you'll get the, the next few. <laughs> uh, trust me, you'll get the next few. Okay. If I gave you a better picture of him, I'd give away the answer. Okay. He's a bad guy, horse racer, and he has another version of himself. Doesn't he look familiar? Kind of. Here's a hint. Alternate version of a major antagonist. Most importantly, his current name is a nickname. Are you confused? Yes. Okay. So, alternate version of a major antagonist. Java the Popo. No! <laughs> Think about it. Johnny Joestar is Jonathan. Gyro Zeppeli is Caesar. Mm hmm. So then, who's him? I, I remember the picture, I can't think of the name. Oh my gosh. I'm lost. Oh, you are lost. Yeah. I'm surprised. Yes, I am. Me too. <sighs> Go ahead. His name is Diego Dio Brando. Ah, Dee Dee. What did I say? His hat gives it away. It yes. spells out his name. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, anyway, here is his stand. He could turn himself into a dinosaur and can eat rocks. He can also turn other things into dinosaurs. I honestly actually would love this stand. I want to turn into a dinosaur <laughs> and like turn other things into dinosaurs. <laughs> a la Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a hint. David Bowie song, 1981. China Girl. Nani? China girl from a dinosaur. <laughs> Just a David, David Bowie song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was I right? No. <clears throat> Again, how did you go from dinosaur to China girl? <laughs> that was one of his songs. Yes, I it's one of his songs, it's but from it's from around 1981. Yeah, but that's that was not... the first David Bowie song that came to my mind in 1981-ish. It's not. <sighs> Let's dance. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get one guess left. No idea. No idea? Yeah. Scary Monsters. Oh. The localiza localized version is Frightening Monsters, and I thought it was a it was a nod to 2010's Skrillex, yeah. Scary Monsters and Ice Sprites. I mean, come on. Yeah, you'd think. And that's what I would think. This guy. Main antagonist for part seven. He's pretty. <laughs> 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 He's got some man. locks. <laughs> oh my god! He's the president of the United States in the 1890s. He wants to find the corpse parts of the Jesus Christ. Yes, that's right. Jesus Christ is a JoJo character. I was just joking before. <sighs> Jesus. What's that? That's so funny. Don't Jesus laugh at Jesus. Don't laugh at Jesus. This song is called Jesus for tonight, so I thought you were talking like Jesus. No, no, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> Officially, yes, my answer is Jesus. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, and now, yeah, it's real. Okay. So they have to find a saint's par corpse parts. Jesus is real. <laughs> Finding the corpse parts are kind of like the bow and arrow from part three. They will grant the user special stands. Here is your hint. Name of a holiday and a jazz song sung by a multitude of artists such as Bing Crosby, Michael Buble, and even Frank Sinatra. Like Christmas? Other holiday. That they would sing a song for. That Frank Sinatra sang too. It's a Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> he passed away recently, so oh. sorry to him. Um, I will tell you this. Mm -hmm. It's not a... Well, actually, no. It is a winter holiday, but it's not around the time you're thinking of. Valentine's Day? Oh. 
Happy Valentine? The song. Uh, Killer Valentine. Okay, no, no. No. Sunny Valentine? Sweet Valentine. Sweet Valentine. No. Bah, bah, bah. Stop. <laughs> Uh, no. funny, no, oh! funny Valentine? Yeah, my uh, funny Valentine. This uh, is President Funny Valentine. Uh, so I'll give that to you. I'll give that to you. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay. Oh my god. And this, <clears throat> this is going to be the one that totally breaks me. Okay. This is Funny Valentine's stand. The stand can see through alternate realities. It can even jump into those alternate realities. Here is your hint. Long name, ACDC song, 1976, but it wasn't released in the USA until 1981, a year after the singer's death. Long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Uh, you have this one! <clears throat> Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap? Yes! D4C! Bonus! English localization time, can you guess? Replace every word in the title. What? This is a big one. <clears throat> Messy things completed inexpensively. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Not even close. Um. No? No. Alright, so here... Here's... Here you go. Hold yourself together for this. <laughs> Filthy axe at a reasonable price! I was close. <laughs> I think I like mine better. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the axe at a reasonable price! Uh... We are now at part 8. The current part, Jojo Leon. <clears throat> this is still ongoing as of right now. It's part four, but with amnesia, and it takes place in 2011. Part four. <laughs> well, we're at part eight. <clears throat> this. Part eight. <laughs> what? Part eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So this. I want part eight. <laughs> okay. This guy. He's Josuke Higashikata, aka Gappy. He's adopted into the Higashikata where, family. Where, where, where do they come up with? Gappy. From he's got a his... Oh. He's got a gap in his tooth. Oh, I can't see it from here. Well, duh. Oh. Anyways, spoiler. He's two people fused into one. That's why he ain't got no memories. <laughs> it's like me sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. You call me Gappy Pappy. <laughs> got no memory. Oh my god. So this is Gappy's stand. He's also a bubble maker. <laughs> and he uses the bubbles as shields. The bubbles can also erase things such as noise or water within a human's body. It can also be used to create bombs thanks to his other half. It can erase things, even like fur off a cat. <laughs> and... Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> so here is your hint. Prince Song, 1978. <clears throat> it was his first record. I don't know. His first record. Mm, I don't know. You... Old Prince. None? No. Alright. Well, soft and wet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it like that every single time. Soft and wet. <laughs> Okay. This is Yasuo Hirose, and this is her stand. It has electronic manipulation and shape-shifting. It can also guide Yasuo to objects or a destination, like a GPS, and the stand is attached to her cell phone. Okay. Here is a hint. <clears throat> Another Prince song, <laughs> 1985. <clears throat> God, Araki loves his Prince. I guess so. Kiss? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Paisley Park. Oh. Just, he, Araki loves his Prince songs. Yeah, I'm not huge on Prince. Stuff. Anyways, the localization for the game is Flower Park. Oh, okay. His name is Rai Mamezuku, 
His stand can peel skin and makes string out of skin. Kind of like Stone Freeze ability. Here is the hint. This stand is named after a Snoop Dogg song, and it's inappropriate. Fun fact, Araki used this song as inspiration for Golden Wind. <clears throat> I think it's actually an album. I only know Rocket League guitar, or... No, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, okay. No idea. Hold it by the seat of your pants. Doggy style! Oh. What did I tell you? <clears throat> Okay, I should have known that. Are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is Karera Tsukunami. So her stand has a similar name and powers to a stand from part four, if you can remember. Here's a hint. Yukako. No. The, the girl, the one girl character from part four. <laughs> so this is Yukako. The stand is the hair itself, and she can use her hair as tendrils to grab things. Here's your hint. This stand was based off of an album by the- Smooth Operator. Part 4! <laughs> um, no. No, no. Give me, a, give me a better hint. Um, well I mean- Song it... reference? Album. Remember that <clears throat> one album we never understood? From... Part 4. From Primus or something? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Yukiko's that girl with the sailor outfit. What was hers? <laughs> this girl has similar powers to her, so... Hair tendrils. Eye in the sky. I remember the eye in the hair. Um, but I don't remember. Yeah, no, no clue? No clue. Alright. It's Love Love Deluxe. Also, because Love Deluxe, <clears throat> Love Love Deluxe. Oh, okay. Because both stands use a form of hair manipulation. Anyway. Anyway. This is the third and final challenge! This challenge is the Higashikata family tree. Gappy was adopted by the Higashikata family, and they are all stand users. We'll be focusing on six of their members. Like the two other challenges, get 100% correct, and this will be worth six points. If he gets at least one wrong, it's only worth two. And if he gets all wrong, no point. So this is the family tree of the Hikashikata family. We have um, Norosuke at the top here. He's the patriarch. Then he has four children. Jabin, Hato, Joshu, and Daya. And Jabin had a wife. I, I think he's still married. I'm not sure. But anyways, he has a son named Tsurugi. Oh, that's a son? Kind of looks like a girl. Okay. So these are all the stands. Um, this is Norosuke's stand. It can disassemble itself like a puzzle and also be able to track people's scents. Jobin's stand can transfer heat to other people. Hato stand can uh, create spikes on her high heels, and she's a very good fighter. Joshu, uh, Joshu's stand is down here, can bolt anything together, and Daya's stand can steal memories and store them into these little chess pieces, and Tsurugi's stand, which is way down here, can make origami frogs and cause prosponagia. I can't read. Well, anyways, it's the inability to render faces. Okay. Here are your hints. <clears throat> Norosuke's stand is named after a 1996 Metallica song. Jobin's stand is based off of a deep purple song from 1970. Hato's stand is a nod to Holland K. Smith's 1999 song, Yeesh, It's Very Obscure. Okay. Joshu's stand is based off of a famous African-American jazz singer from the 30s. 
Daya Stand is based off of my favorite Rihanna song from 2010. Mm. And finally, <clears throat> Tsurugi Stand is a nod to a song that Joshua's singer did. <clears throat> okay. So let's start with <clears throat> Puzzle Piece Guy up here. One. Two? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Master of Puppets? Uh uh. You have one guess left. I don't know. I'm failing big time. I have no idea. Alright, I'll tell you at the end. Okay. Let's go to Job and Stand over here. Smoke on the water? <laughs> you look like that one gif. You know what I'm talking about with the guys like. <laughs> that's me right now. Yeah, I'm that's just, you. Like, I'm like, I'm. Blanking it out. Yeah. Yeah, no. Alright, we'll, we'll come back to it then. Yeesh. So yeah. obscure. It's very obscure. I had to look it up. It didn't even have a Wikipedia page. It's so obscure. No. Yeah, nothing. Alright. Josh Houston. This one might be a little easier. Harry Belafonte. No. Benson. No. No. Okay. We'll come back to it then. Daya. This is a Rihanna song. Umbrella. No. All the single ladies. Nani? That's Beyonce! <laughs> um, I have no idea right now. Alright. <laughs> we'll come back to it. <clears throat> uh, Tsurugi's stand. So, uh, well, you don't know the singer of Joshu's. Yeah, no. Yeah, no idea. Uh, going back, do you think you can do any others? Or do you have no idea for any of them? Push. Mm -mm. I weigh something. No. No idea for any? No idea. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. The answers. Norosuke stand is King Nothing. The English localization is King of Nothingness. Josh, or not Josh, Jobbins is Speed King. Uh, Hato is Walking Heart, and the song's called Walking Heart Attack. I, I didn't know about this song either. Um, for Joshu, it was Nat King Cole. Oh, okay. But it's Nut King <clears throat> Cole because it can make nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, like nuts and bolts. Got it. Or Daya's song is a Rihanna song. It's my favorite song ever. California King Bed. Okay. And uh, localization, it's King Bed. And finally, <clears throat> it's only a paper moon. But, oh, okay, that's old. Yeah, Paper Moon King. But uh, turns out Nat King Cole's daughter, Natalie Cole, sang oh. Paper Moon as well. Okay, so let me just tally up the last of your score and just kind of go through it. Passing! <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one small surprise left. Yeah? There's just been an announcement for a part 9. NANI?! No! Let me show you the JoJo. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> anyway, you did it! Game over! Final thoughts! That was a lot of fun. Uh, there were some pretty rough uh, hints there. <laughs> some very vague references, but uh, overall it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much to my dad for coming on to the channel and doing this with me. Um, if JoJo Part 9 comes out for real, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Congratulations, viewer! You made it to the end of the show! Woo! With that being said, let me give you the answers! Episode 1 George Joestar and young Arena Pendleton. Episode 2 Steely Dan and Noriaki Kakuin. Episode 3 Old Man Joseph and Aya Tsuji. Episode 4 Canolo Merlo and Scalippi. 
Episode 5, Donatello Versace and Raquel. Episode 6, Mountain Tim and Scarlet Valentine. And finally, Episode 7, Dr. Satoru Akefu and Joseph Lumi Kujo. How many did you get correct? Leave your score in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time!